He's always quickest to the breakdown, so effective in this aspect of the game. Now, the word legend is an overused word, but for our next guest, I don't think legend even covers it. I think icon is more appropriate. When I was at school, this guy was at the top of his game. He's still going, he's retiring at the end of this season, still at the top of the game. Absolute icon of world rugby, Brad Thorne. So Brad, we're here in the Tigers kit room and you are, after a very, very long career, coming towards the end, you're actually going to retire at the end of the season. I don't really know why I've retired, just felt like <laughs> I should. I could see me uh, always having a sniff if there's a game on somewhere around, you know. I always have a pair of boots in the, yeah. in the car boot. Most of my mates are all retired, you know, everyone's yeah. retired. <laughs> I'm like the one old person on the old person's home that's, I just won't die. <laughs> I love prisons, yeah. you know. I love getting in the gym, I love training. Yeah. I'll never stop. You know, younger guys, often they want things to be different and stimulating that. I do a lot of boring stuff that no one sees, <laughs> yeah. but it means I get to have fun on Saturday. And I think for me, if I was really honest, you've talked about 21 years of professional rugby. For me, it's been uh, 21 years. Uh, uh, that's been the hobby, but it just pays for my gym membership. So, yeah. <laughs> so. What differences have you noticed from Super Rugby to your top European rugby? In the Southern Hemisphere, we'll have a scrum to, to use it for our back line, yeah. you know? Whereas up here, we'll, Wins your every, games. every scrum yeah. is testing each other mm. and looking to get a penalty. I'm sort of probably a little bit like a Northern Hemisphere forward mm. come from there and, and, yeah. and I, I'm, I thrive up here as well, you know? Another switch you made, of course, was from Rugby League to Rugby Thanks, Union. Please. Someone else who's swapped recently with a lot, of, a lot of profile behind him is Sam Burgess. What do you think it's gonna take for him to really succeed Perseverance is the key. Yeah. So he's got all those great that character that he has that everyone can see. And with Sam, uh, for me, I would have always thought you know, six would have suited him. Looking at him as a player, he suits being part of a pack. People say, oh, the games are getting more the same. Well, guess what? They're a lot different. Yeah. You know, when you first come from league, you're two, three seconds behind every little play. And then over time, it starts to get in your system and then you just start to do those things and the important thing is you start to enjoy the game more and you start yeah. to understand it. My big goal was I wanted people to look on the paddock and not see 14 rugby players in a league guy. I wanted them to see me and go, there's a rugby player. You had to pick one person who helped you more than anyone. Who would you think about? Oh, my dad helped kick me off. I mean, he's a watchmaker by trade. Uh, came from humble beginnings, you know, um, but I was a kid with potential, but I had no work ethic, I was lazy. Right. That may sound funny to you now. Right. When I was 16, uh, he just said, right, I've had enough. You're gonna go and do some training. And that was a game changer, that changed direction. That's why I'm standing here now. He passed away when I was 19, but he kicked me up the ass. Uh, some tough love, I appreciate that. The big one is better look yourself in the mirror in the eye and know, you know, I've given everything I've got. Proper oh, I gave it everything yeah. I could go, and yeah. I can, I can look straight back at him and go, kudos, yeah. you know. I'm a man of faith, I thank God um, for everything he's given me. It's just been an awesome ride. I guess you've got some undies drawers at home, stuff with trophies or there's a cabinet or something like that. At Leicester, you think you've got room for one more? It's been a tough old year, it's a tough old comp, you know. It's a long competition. For me, I'm not here to participate. It's not, I don't want a little certificate that says participation, I'm here to win. And this club has a history of that as well. There's quite a few other teams that don't want to participate either. They want yeah. to win as well. Yeah. And that's what makes it great. Good luck to you. Cheers, bro. Good luck. Awesome. Cheers, Brad. Okay.